is that this change does not absolve us of answering to the best of our ability any question that is put out there in those four minutes. Um, We're not obligated to do that. You got to remember. No, I understand. We're not obligated. Act, like to the best of our them. ability is why I'm saying that we're not obligated. Yes, and if it's accusatory, if, you know, somebody is out there just to attack you. I understand that silence is the best approach in that. You know, but there are times when it's a tough question, and it needs to be answered. We may not have the answer at that point, but we could make an effort to get back with an answer. It doesn't have to be during the board meeting, uh, as long as we are re responding to the public. The, the policy puts it in the hands of the presiding officer, so whoever's right. sitting there, every right. and meeting, she's every been doing, year, yes. could see variably different responses to things, right? That's yeah, and I'm just so I was trying to put a little bit more discipline into the absolutely. policy. I agree because I, I, I feel like this then almost forces a expression and response. Exactly. Whether the response is nothing or she wants to go on for hours and engage everybody in the conversation, it's the presiding officer's option. I am on the same page as you right now. I think what I'm trying to express is that it does not um, this change in the policy should not be translated as a reluctance of the board Absolutely. to respond Absolutely. to the public. Mm -hmm. That's not what this should be. This should yeah. be, we're trying to limit the time of the meeting. Our meetings have been ending at 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. We're that. trying to limit because there are other towns that get home earlier than us in a regular board meeting. And I, I don't and that's all I wanted to emphasize that. I don't, I don't think it's the, the public time. discourse, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. But I don't think it's the public discourse that's bringing the meetings. Right. to uh, you know awful hours of the night i think it's board members who just keep you know bringing things up and talking about things and deliberating which is fine too but i'm just saying that that's really what drives the long meetings and then the other board business and then and then the, the, the interactions and the political rivalry and all that stuff pops up that's what really makes the meetings go on and on and on if not I, the public if i may say sure. something the political aspect of it i agree with you but the other deliberations by the board members i think that's what we were elected to do so if any one of us is here questioning something that's on the agenda, we were elected to do that. And I would rather we spend, take the time to do that. But yes, you're right. Political rivalries and personal agendas should not be the reason why we are. I, and I don't disagree with you. All I'm saying is that we've been discussing this now for 15 minutes. That isn't the public doing that. That's us. So this isn't about limiting the public. If anything, if we wanted to limit something, we'd be limiting ourselves. 